Hello everybody, Noel from Scratch Genius here. Today I will be showing you part 3 and the last part to the series on how to make the Google Snake game in Scratch. I hope you will enjoy this video, and let's get into it! Today we are going to be finishing up, adding apples for the snake to eat, making a nice cute tongue that the snake would hiss every now and then, also making it so the snake would get thinner over time, and adding patterns or making the snake rainbow. So what's probably going to be the first thing we should do is make the apple for the snake to eat. I'm going to paint in the sprite and name this apple. I'm going to pick a circle, fill it with a nice bright red color, make no outline, and hold shift and click to make it a perfect circle. I'm going to zoom in, center it, and I'm also going to add a little brown stick which is going to be the stem. Now, with our amazing apple, let's go over to the code and start programming it. I'm going to go to events, and when the green flag is clicked, we'll then forever, we're going to go to a random position. Then we're going to wait until we're touching the player. And then we are going to change the score, or the player length, by 10. Before we test this out, excuse me, I actually made a mistake. Instead of when the green flag is clicked, we're actually going to put when we receive start, just like we did last episode. So now if we test it out, it should work. Yay! It does! And our snake also should get longer. The next thing we can do is go to renderer and make a rainbow snake. So let's go to pen and change the color by something like one. If we test this out, we're going to have a rainbow snake. This looks really cool, although you do not have to have this if you don't want it. Now if you want a pattern instead of just a rainbow snake, we can get rid of this and actually go if else. We're going to drag in a contains as well as a division and so if the next position, or the position it's rendering, divided into something like 10, or you can actually make this anything you want, the higher the number, the less frequent this is going to be. So I'm going to make it 10. So if the next position divided into 10 contains a dot, so it is not a positive, if it's not an even number, we then we are going to set the pen color to the normal pen color, which in this case would be the color of the snake. But if it's not like that, then we're going to set the pen color to any color we want for the little line. I'm going to make it blue. And now if we test this, every 10 segments of the tail, it is going to have a blue line. Now if you want this to be more frequent, we can make it something like 5. And now it is much more frequent. Now let's add that really cool tongue effect that happens every now and then. To do this, I'm going to go over and paint a new sprite, and I'm going to call it Tongue. So, I chose a nice bright red color, and I'm going to put the pen thickness to about 10, and I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to hold the shift click to make it snap to an angle. I'm going to make it snap in this direction, and then zoom in. And then, you can see this little dot over here, so we can snap it to the edge. So again, shift click and I'm gonna make it something like that and in this one we just have to try to get it right in the center there now we can go and select the whole thing and center it let's go to the code and let's go to events when I receive start well then forever we are going to wait uh, pick random in between something like 3 and 5. You can fine tune this to however you like it. Then it's going to repeat. It's going to repeat another pick random from something like 15 to 25. And you can fine tune this. This is how many uh, times it vibrates. Then we can go to motion. It's going to go to the player. 
we're just going to point in the direction that the player is pointing in so we can go to point in direction then go to sensing and drag in this thing over here which we can switch this drop down to player and we can do x position y position but we want the direction so it's going to point in the direction the direction of player and it's going to go back to motion and it's going to move something like 10 steps you can change this this is how far out the tongue is sticking out then we can make it turn pick random from somewhere maybe from minus 10 to 10 now the wider the range this is the more violently it's going to turn and vibrate now before we test this out we have to do a few more things let's go to looks and make it hide when it receives start let's also make it show after it waits when it starts doing the animation and then it is going to hide when it's finished we can also make it go to the back layer and maybe make it about 50% size now if we test this the animation should work yay that looks pretty nice now one last thing you might want to do is make it so your snake gets thinner over time let's go to renderer and let's create a new variable I'm going to call this delta thick now the reason that we are coding it delta is because delta is the change or difference in something so this is going to be how much thinner it's going to get over time we can also go and hide that because we don't really need to see it at the beginning of the render phase we can set delta thick to something like 10 divided into player length this is going to make it so that the snake is going to get thinner but it's never going to get thin past a certain point this is going to help so it doesn't get super thin now let's simply make it so that it changes the pen th size by the delta thick let's also make it so that it sets the pen size to whatever you have the original pen size at the beginning of the render we can also make a quick score display by going to player and in the forever loop we can create a new variable and call it score display then we can set score display to join so we're going to join score Oops. and so we are going to join that with a division so we're going to do the player length divided into something like 10 now this number should be the same that you increment every time you get an apple since you want the score to increment every time you collect one if we go and test this out look at that it works now I recommend that you make it so at the beginning the player starts with 10 lengths now since it's going to start with 10 lengths or 20 lengths or really anything you want you probably want to do a little minus here to subtract one from this so it does not include the points you already give the player when it starts off now if we test this you should see that we start off with zero points even though we already have 10 player lengths and now it increments every time we collect an apple yay one more thing you will probably want to do is switch it to large readout that way you can see it much larger we can also put this in the middle and there we are finished thank you very much for watching if you liked this video please hit like also if you enjoy my channel please consider subscribing so you won't miss any future content if you have any idea for future videos please post them in the comment section below now have fun stay healthy and i'll see you in the next video